Hey, what's up all you action figure lovers out there? Master Marvel's back at it once again, bringing you another action figure review. Tonight we're going to be taking a look at the Dragon Ball Super's Dragon Stars Krillin by Bandai. Before I get into this, let me make that description real quick that this video is not meant for kids. This is for adult collectors only. So you guys know the drill, man. Let's get down to this figure right here. This is one that I've really been looking forward to in the line. Uh, as I've talked about before, man, it seems like it's just been repeats of different characters and stuff like that. Where they really need to be doing fill-ins like this of, you know, <laughs> some of the main cast of Dragon Ball. So, Krillin's definitely one of those that I was really looking forward to because I've always liked Krillin. And Krillin's been there since day one, pretty much. So, uh, without further ado, let's get this guy open and get a good look at him. So, let's get this tape cut. Let me just narrate every little thing that I do. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm an idiot. <coughs> but yeah, man. Um, I love, for what it's worth, I love these dragon superstars right here. These dragon stars. Um, granted, they're not H figure, SH figure arts, but I mean, come on, man. For the price point of 20 bucks. What are you going to expect? I mean, this is all you're getting in there. <laughs> a figure and a couple sets of hands. So, uh, it's real exciting, right? Uh, he does feel a little big, but I don't know. I haven't really gotten the size comparisons yet. So, we'll see how he sizes up with figures like Vegeta and... Goku, stuff like that. All right. Now, one thing that I've noticed since I've been reviewing these is I don't know if the quality's gotten better on them since the first series or if it's gotten worse. Like, I mean, you still don't get no good head action or nothing on these. And like I said, the Series 1 Goku was probably the best figure so far in this whole freaking line because... He's got the best head movement. I don't, I don't know how much I like. I really don't think I like these drop hinged thighs, because you you try to send one up and the other one comes down. So it's I don't know. It's tricky and very frustrating. But he is pretty short, so I think he's gonna scale well with the others. Yeah, he just looked bigger for some reason in the package. Here's a good look at him. Krillin. Got the insignia on the back. Insignia on the front. Uh, I don't know. I can't remember what the who the insignia belongs to. I want to say... I, uh, was it Goku who trained him, or was it the old man? Uh, I can't think of his name right off the top of my head. But, um, I don't know. I really, it just seems almost boring to go over the articulation of these guys, because it doesn't seem to change. I just wish, for God's sakes, I wish we had better head movement. That's... My biggest, always been my biggest complaints about these figures is the abil inability for them to look up or anything. And I don't know. I'm excited to have it, but I'm just, I guess I'm not really that excited to do the review on it because I don't know, man. Something about it's really lacking, and it might be the fact that he just comes with nothing. But, I mean, we're used to that by now with the uh, Dragon Ball Superstar, Supers, I keep on saying Superstars. Um, I don't know, my heart's just not really into this review on this figure. I don't know what it is. I just, <laughs> just looking at it, I mean, come on, man, it's just so simple. I feel like I've got an old, crappy Mattel figure here or something, you know? No offense to Mattel, but... Something about this just isn't... I'm not loving it. 
But, you know, we got our double jointed elbows, we've got our double jointed knees, we've got ankle pivot and rockers and all that good shit. Bicep swivels, the wrist ball peg deals, uh, some waist action that does kind of, it goes back, but it doesn't go forward at all. And the legs, it's just, I just don't want to move the legs, man, because that's the biggest pain in the ass of these figures is the legs. And some are way worse than others. Uh, but you see, you shift one down, the other goes up. That's just, I, I hate that. I really do. I hate that feature. I don't know, man. Fuck it. Let's just get into some size comparisons with this guy. It's about all I can do at this point, because... <sighs> I'm sorry, guys. It's just, this is, uh... This is just a weak figure, and compared to... I mean, and Bandai, come on, man. You guys are the ones that are doing the SH figure arts. So we know that you're capable of great things. And even your, uh... What are these? The, um... Dragon Ball Evolves, these littler versions, man. These things are loaded with our, like really good articulation on them. And I don't know if they're even going to continue doing these or not, but I really like these. Um, just for the articulation on them alone, I don't know why we're not getting it with these Dragon Stars. It's, I, don't, I don't get it. But anyway, here's Krillin next to our basic Goku, and you can see that Goku is taller, which is good. Uh, and here's Vegeta. Vegeta's shorter but than Goku, but taller than Krillin. So that matches up. Um, and yeah, uh, I, don't, I don't really know who else to pull out. My whole Dragon Ball Z shelf is fucked right now. And there's just so many of them packed down there that I just I just don't have the motivation to fix it anytime soon. So uh, I'm not, I'm just gonna have to consolidate, I guess, and try to make it a little smaller instead of having all my variants and stuff like that down there. Maybe just set up individual characters. I don't know. But yeah, I, I just <laughs> I'm not that enthused about this video, and it sucks because I really. Love Dragon Balls, and, and and there for a while, once all the series started coming out and being available on DVD, I really went nuts and really started watching a lot of them. I mean, I watched all of it, actually, so I love Dragon Balls, but there's just something about this that feels weak to me. And, because, uh, yeah, I mean, these are the kind of figures that you're really only going to get they look good, static pose on your shelf. I mean, if you try to get them in dynamic poses and stuff, it, it can get complicated. So, I don't know, man. I really ain't got much else to say about this Krillin, but just he's, look, at, just look at it. I mean, I, I can't work a miracle and make this guy look any cooler than this. Uh, and it's, it's Krillin. I love Krillin. But... There's just, compared to so much stuff that's happening right now with other toy manufacturers, this is just weak. I'm sorry. I mean, I really wanted to talk it, I, I do, I want to talk these things up, man, but it's, I feel like I'm getting some of the bottom of the food chain type, type shit here, you know? Uh, but whatever, man, these things are still selling. They're still pretty popular, I guess, so... I guess I could just consider myself lucky that I have it, you know, and go on from there. <laughs> and, yeah, like I said, I apologize for my lack of enthusiasm about this, and I don't want to really drag it on any longer. Uh, so, I guess all I can say is let me know if you guys like the figure or not. Um, if you guys have it. Or if you guys want it, um, what's your guys' thoughts on it? Let me know in the comments. And I uh, hope you guys like, comment, and share this video. Uh, 
And I'm Master Marvel 80, man. Hope you guys have subscribed to my channel, and uh, I'll catch you guys in the next vid. So, peace out.